I told you, well, we don't have to talk. You just want to watch reactions. <laughs> let's just watch reactions. <laughs> you want to watch reactions. <laughs> yeah, let's do a reaction, bro. Fuck it. Personalized smart guns that can be fired only by verified users could soon be available in U.S. markets. Pistols that can read fingerprints and require passcodes before firing may herald a new era of smart guns. They've been developed in an effort to improve gun safety in the U.S. It's got fucking hey, Australia. It's a frosty January day at this firing range in Boise, Idaho where the range master checks and readies to fire a new prototype of what might be the handgun of the future. Developed by Lodestar Works, this 9mm pistol is a prototype smart gun, equipped with fingerprint reader, passcode, and a way to lock and unlock it from a mobile phone. Uh, right now we're testing two different hmm. positions for that biometric from an ergonomic standpoint. First being right here where you either touch it with your thumb or your index finger. The opposite side with your index finger more when you're in a shooting position. Rob Regent is a mechanical engineer with rad. SGW Design Works, which is building the Lodestar prototype. Uh, the second authentication method uh, is uh, a pin pad right here. What those are, those are just uh, more or less tactile push buttons. There's three of them. You know, you can do uh, four to six digits. It uh, acts much like a, an electronic door lock would. Uh, the third method is the, um, you know, the BLE or the Bluetooth uh, low energy. And basically, we have a mobile application that communicate wirelessly to uh, the gun, and, and you can lock or unlock uh, from any of those methods altogether. Personalized smart guns, which can only be fired by verified users, may finally be available to U.S. consumers after two decades of questions about reliability and concerns they will usher in a new wave of government regulation. Yeah, it just went in your mind now. Lodestar co-founder Gareth Glazer told Reuters the inspiration for the company came after hearing one too many stories about children shot while playing with an unattended gun. I know, though. I've I know. seen the abject failure of every policy to try to make, to do something about gun safety. Lobbying and regulations and lawsuits and, uh, you know, and it all goes nowhere. Not one life is saved. In fact, the statistics just keep going up. Advocates say smart guns could also reduce suicides. A lost or stolen gun would be useless, and police officers would not have to fear that their own service weapons might be taken and used against them. Hmm. But not everyone believes smart guns are the solution. If I have a nickel for every time in my career I heard somebody say, you're about to bring a so-called smart gun on the market, I'd probably be retired now. Lawrence Keene is with the National Shooting Sports Federation, a firearm trade group. As we understand the concept, it's to allow someone to have a loaded firearm relying upon the technology to make it safe and that it can't be used by somebody. If, if you have one of these so firearms and you're relying upon technology, oh, yeah. you know, it's one of the other principles. Never rely upon technology. Always you treat every firearm as if it's loaded you until you are sure that it's not. <laughs> The NSSF says it does not oppose smart guns as long as the government doesn't mandate their sale. The Lodestar gun would sell for eight hundred and ninety-five dollars. Consumer faces the smart guns and shit. Yeah, yeah. market by other developers. No order. Yeah. Huh. Your thoughts? Um. Oh, like. I don't know if it's good or bad. Like I, I mean, it seems good. Actually, they seem good. It seems like a good thing. Yeah. To have smart guns, you yeah. know, like fuck. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I was waiting for you to like go. The government, they're gonna have her fingerprints. But they, but for people that think that, they already do. Yeah, though. they already have everything. Come on, yeah, yeah. Just put us in their phone, and they've been putting in their phone for years. Ah, uh, yeah. Security They don't have mine. They don't have my fucking yeah. fingerprint. They Apple doesn't have my fingerprint. Yeah, my see, I don't have that though. either. No, fuck that. I don't like that. Like it, but, but I'm um, sure they're still listening. Like I, I, I have a feeling that fucking everything's listening. Like if you give it access, so the cops got your fingerprint. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they got <laughs> the it. people that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cops definitely have it. So they got your print, but they got their print. Somehow. Yeah, right. Their birth certificate. Is there one? <laughs> yeah, you put your thumbprint on it. Your toe. When we were kids, I remember. Yeah, print. my foot's on there. They yeah. do the whole foot, don't they? Yeah. And they do like the side of your hand. They do all kinds of weird prints, but nowadays they're just going to be throwing chips in the kids. Yeah. Aren't they? You can fucking scan them. So you say thumbs up or down? For smart guns? Yeah. Um, I'm going up. 
I'd say thumbs up. I'm actually. I, I want so. your comments. Like, if you don't like it, why? I'll actually. I want yeah, to hear like, it. I'd like to know why. Why? You know, because if you don't want people with your guns, anyways, I don't want my kids to have guns. Right. I don't want fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah. It sucks for criminals. Right. But they'll have hacks. And it sucks for like. They'll hack that 007 shit. and shit. Yeah, dude. What if they could do that? Like, what if they could ha- hack it and like just make it sh- fire? Cut off hands for that shit. And just clip your fucking... What? <laughs> if somebody needs your gun, they're going to cut your hand off for your oh, gun. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> they need your oh, fingerprint. And they'll be shooting it with your dead hand. <laughs> like fucking... They could duct tape the, the fucking dead hand of the oh, gun running around. Oh, shit. That's like a movie. Yeah, fuck. Seriously, I bet you that will happen, though. What, do you think if they if they go full bore with the smart guns? I'm just saying you laugh, but I bet you somewhere in the world that's going to happen. There's going to be, be somebody, somebody's going to be, like, getting killed, and then they're going to, like, shoot somebody, and then, like, grab their gun, and be like, oh, I need their arm, and they'll have, like, a machete. Sounds like Die Hard <laughs> fucking 7. Somewhere in the world. War. Yeah. Or something, you know? <laughs> well, war's just going to be drones, dude. They're going to yes. be shooting everyone with fucking drones, dropping bombs from fucking robots 100. in the sky, dude. Everything, fucking robots everywhere. Space... Yeah, laser beams and shit. Yeah, satellite war. Yeah. The war of... There's going to be a digital war. And yeah, like a, well, I mean, we're already in all kinds of different well, wars. Well, I mean, a technology war with other yeah. countries. Oh, fuck yeah, Yeah, cybersecurity. We're in that already, yeah. yeah. I was just listening to something about... They were talking about how China is... And, like, they're constantly trying to steal our our technological advances. Like, whenever it comes to any type of technology that we come up with, there's fucking Chinese dudes... Sniffing around, trying to fucking find that shit to steal it. Damn. Take it over to China and fucking make it better and better.